Uh, yeah, he, um, he's Kevin Durant. He's uh, one of the one of the great players in the league. I, I said it yesterday. I think he's the most skilled basketball player on earth, and uh, he's been an MVP. He's been two-time Finals MVP. Um, so a guy, a guy like him generally comes back after a tough night and, and plays plays at a really high level. That's uh, so he does. does a great game. 20 or 30 shots. What would you like him to? Do? Well, I mean. He's been here three years. He basically has averaged about 20. I think it may be 19. Um, so the main thing is just be re really aggressive. I think I threw out 20 or 30 yesterday. That'd be fine with all of us. Uh, but he's also a, a great passer, great distributor. The biggest thing is just attacking. Uh, attacking and, and scoring and, and if they're loading up on them, finding somebody else. But just being being super engaged and, uh, and aggressive, that's what we're looking for. Do you even need to have that conversation with him about being more aggressive? That's none of your stress? business. That's, I, I get to talk to my players and we, get, we keep all that stuff private. Right. Right. Connor. Right. Yeah. But, you, but you obviously <laughs> trust him. I mean, he's a Hall of Fame caliber guy. We talk, yeah, we, yeah, we talk. Yeah. We always... That's what we do. We talk about what's what's needed to win the game, and we, we watch film, and we have group discussions, we have individual discussions. It's all fun. It's it's sorry, I couldn't resist. It's a kind of top block <laughs> is, that they're doing, like yeah. the extreme overplays on this. Does that remind you of the way that somebody else has started in the past? Uh, yeah, teams have done that, and uh, it's it's a smart strategy because it uh, you know it, it takes away uh, some of the three point shots, but it opens up other things, and uh, we have to take advantage of what they're doing uh, by using the openings that uh, that style of defense creates. Let's see, what do you think we're getting out of play so far? What are we getting out of? Same thing we always get from them. Great defense, great competitive desire, uh, big minutes, um, two-way player. You know, nothing ever changes. He's a plays a metronome. He just just every game, every game, uh, nothing changes. Have you having to talk earlier about like you know, talking about trying to get him better look? So I guess what's kind of your view on on that pertaining to Clay? Pertaining to Clay? Yeah. Yeah. We we we're, we're always trying to get. Uh, good looks for Clay. That's uh, you know, that's paramount, and so we, we can do a better job with our execution to try to free him up. But you know, we're doing pretty well. You know, we we, uh, we completely lost it in the second half the other night, but uh, for a game and a half, I think we've been pretty solid. Uh, we just have to to play the full 48. I don't know how many points we're averaging right now in the series. It's 125, 130, something like that. So. The points really aren't a problem to come by. Um, it's and the defense was for a game and a half, fantastic. Um, for whatever reason, we I said it yesterday. We just we stopped playing uh, the second half the other night. So that's the issue. We just got to play the full 48. Uh, try to lock them down defensively, and uh, if we do that, we'll be in good shape. Knowing that you guys are doing pretty well, do you ever smile at the narratives that crop up when the Warriors face I'm not even aware of the narratives. Uh, you know, I, I uh, in the playoffs especially, um, if Raymond tells me something that's that I need to know, then that's fine, but I, I'm not sure what the narrative is. The, uh, the important narrative for us is uh, what's actually happening on the floor and what we need to do next. Was that game easier or harder to put under you? Uh, harder, harder. It's uh, you know, it's it's a very strange night for us, and um, you know, we've been been at this now for years. Um, definitely the strangest playoff game that I can remember our team having, and the vibe in the second half, and the, you know, letting go of the rope, however you want to put it. Uh, haven't seen our team in that position before. So, but this has been uh, you know, a long, uh, challenging season, and a lot of things have come our way. And, and this is all part of uh, trying to stay on top of the mountain for five straight years. It's a, it's a difficult uh, journey, but it's uh, it's all part of it, and you, you keep keep going. 
been a couple of coaches in the past few days that have sort of used you guys to motivate their teams. And in other words, saying, look what happened to the Warriors, and that's why you should play all four quarters. Do you think your team has learned its lesson from that thing that is being used by other coaches for their teams? I don't know, but I'm using it too. I, I, I told our guys today, I mean, you see Toronto tonight, I mean, you see Philly. I think I talked about, um, who else did I talk about? No, I didn't talk about uh, Detroit. I didn't talk about that. Uh, I talked about uh, Houston. I did, whoever plays well, mm -hmm. I, I mentioned that team. And I say that's what we need to do is try to be more like them. And what you were doing for two and a half quarters. Uh, mainly that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were, you were in Chicago consecutive long times and other places too. Uh, this is a longer one than that. What types of things? Uh, well, just to clarify, I was there for the second free beat in Chicago. I wasn't there for the first. Uh, but uh, it, it's very similar, and it, it helps that I was in their shoes uh, as a player because, uh, you know, the third year in Chicago, 98, um, was very different from the first two. And uh, so this year has, has been very different for us, too. And so just to be able to relate to what they're going through, uh, the difficulty of staying on top and um, you know, how we need to navigate our way through and get through the adversity, all that. The experience definitely helps. Thanks, Coach. Thanks everybody. Thanks, Thanks. See you tonight. Thank you.